Hello there, welcome to episode 81 of the Vintage Collection Quick Shot series. This is VC81, Ben Quadraneros, and Otogo222. <laughs> so I don't unfortunately have this figure loose to show you, which is very sad because it does come, like with the other pod races, with an extra item with it, you know, this little droid thing. So, um, yeah, it's funny, I did say in my previous video, which is about Anakin Skywalker, VC80, I said about how the Phantom Menace was, you know, it's almost like a Disney movie. Some of these characters, it's kind of like a family film, like a fantasy thing, you know, with the Otto Gungo or whatever, that whole thing was very mystical and mythical. And, you know, it was George Lucas, wasn't it? Pushing the boat out with his CGI and stuff. So it's a family friendly movie, with, you know, with Anakin being a young boy in it and middle of the road almost. But, um, and I don't dislike The Phantom Menace at all. And I don't think it's the best film they've ever made, but, no objection, but it's funny. This guy in particular is such a weird looking character. Uh, and it's quite interesting that you either like this kind of thing or don't really. I, I do remember one reviewer, M Furious or somebody like that on YouTube, and he really does not like this character. It's just funny watching his review. He thinks it's laughable, but you know, and he does, he just looks interesting, doesn't he? I've, I've never seen an, an alien looking like that, but he's so quirky. He's like a caricature, cartoon caricature, polit political cartoon satire isn't that you know they they really accentuate features like that so that's what he is but look at him he's, he's just bizarre isn't he i would love to have him loose just to, just to have him loose i've got all my pod races as you know at the minute on my barge hanging out there well, not all of them only the ones that would have potentially survived the boonta eve classic but anyway i do have a pod racer speaking of pod racers to open actually that i got loose but for this video now i can only really show you the card back and that's about it so there you go Double packed there, just like they should have and could have double packed two Jawas in the, the latest vintage collection. And to just giving you one because you, you get more, at least they're giving you more plastic for your buck, aren't they? That's a cool looking droid, though. Look at the weathering on him. Let me just get in closer. Closer, I said. Darkness rises with light to meet it. Closer, I said. That's why I'm doing a snow compression. I just wanted to say, closer, I said. Look at that weather in there. It's so Tatooine, isn't it? I know that Tim from Bosk's Bounty is currently in... I think he's just maybe even, com even coming back now. He's been over to Disney World. I was in Disney World in the summer. He's been lucky enough to go to the <clears throat> Batu, which is uh, the Galaxy's Edge. And I know that uh, I tried to get in there and it wasn't quite open when I was there. But anyway... Lots of the weathering is like that. But also, I was just thinking of Tatooine Traders, which is which is a shop outside Star Tours. And it has, like, a weathering like that on the building. It's like a hut, kind of very st stereotypical kind of uh, hut that you would see at Mos Espa. Mos Espa, you know. But anyway, <laughs> just visuals and referencing. And on the back of these cards are, are very generic. The only cool thing about them is that they've got the 12-back style, which is a nod to the past. And all of these 12 characters are coming up. Um, some some of the good ones are coming up now. We've got Darth Maul who's going to be later on in the series. And Dolte Dauphine, which is a good... Or Dauphine, or whatever you want to say. So there's loads of good ones. And uh, again, if you are not familiar with my channel, do, do check it out. I'm going through the entire vintage collection with this series. So check it out. I've got a playlist with a link to it. So there you are. All I can say is that I do not have Ben Quadranaris. I wish I did. And for now, just to close, I can show you this pod racer, which I'm going to open soon, which is Team 2 Pagalize. Team 2 Pagalize, which comes with an awesome um, pit droid dispenser, I believe. The Ambassador is a Jedi Knights, I believe. That's a pit droid dispenser, I believe. Look at him. I remember, I think I remember him revving up his engine. <laughs> Again. Love or hate the Phantom Menace. That's a really good sequence, the pod race. I enjoy that. Surely everyone enjoyed that, even if you didn't like it. That bit was good. And, of course, Darth Maul. Thank you for watching. I'm going to think I'll leave it there. Leave your thoughts and comments below about pod races. Ah, and one final question. Which pod racer do you want to see in the Vintage Collection? If you don't say so, Bulba... Get the hell out of here. I'm only joking. Only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.